Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and welcome to my Facebook page. I wanted to show a couple of the new Oregon pyramids that I have made. Um, this way you can get a, get a little bit better idea when you see them on video. But I just wanted to show you first, this is, this is the typical Oregon pyramid that you might get that people will sell you on eBay. And, I mean, it's, it's a nice pyramid, but this is the typical size. And you'll notice it's primarily made of metal, and you'll see there's a stone there, stone there, stone there. So they kind of scatter stones around, and it, as you see, it's mainly metal. And the reason that most do that is because that's a way to keep the cost down, because the metal is one of the least expensive parts of an organ device. And it may look nice... I bought this about two years ago, but it's not the, really the way that Oregon pyramids are supposed to be made, because it's supposed to be done in layers. You do inorganic and organic materials, the inorganic being the metal, and the organic being crystals or stones, and you put them in layers, so it's almost like a filter with different levels. Now I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've made. This is one I made yesterday. Now you'll notice how it goes from organic, which is different levels, of, different types of stones and crystals, to metals, crystal, metal, crystals, metals. And look, on the bottom, just for example, the whole thing is covered with amethyst stones. And you can see the size difference. And I'll show you one other I made just the other day. Quartz crystal garnet stone, blue calcite, and again, the whole bottom of this pyramid, this is all different types of agate, or agate, whichever way you want to pronounce it, and it's completely filled. So, you get what you pay for. I mean, people will say that some of my pyramids might seem a little bit more expensive compared to what you've seen, but like I said, if you see the difference between mine that you do them in layers and you do them correctly and you fill them with stones, not just metal, and you see, again, this one, unorganized and full of metals with a couple of stones. Like, there's a stone there. There's a stone there. So they, they throw in a couple of stones. There's one there. Here and there. Now, this cost me $45 two years ago. And you're basically paying for metal and whatever amount of time. Now I'm going to show one that I had a special order from somebody. It's the most powerful, biggest pyramid that I've ever made. And I'll show you the comparison first. Here's the small one that I was showing you. That's my cat, Oregon. He's named after my pyramids. He's always curious. Now, here's the one that I was showing you. Now, here's the one I just recently made for my client, one of my uh, clients. I want you to see the difference. There is the top of it. And I want to show you. Right there on top is 24 karat gold, actual gold. These are actual, and I made sure they were mint. 1964 and under dimes, and there's a whole layer on, underneath. I forget the name of the stone. It's hard to see it, though, because I don't have the proper lighting. But that is a polished, shaped, I think it's strombolite stone. It's a purple, beautiful stone with... The red is all faceted garnet stones. That is actual genuine copper, solid copper nuggets. And you see how I fill the layers with crystals and stones. So I'm going to try and lift this. It's actually <laughs> pretty heavy. But I'm going to show you the bottom of this. And we have, this is Mother of Pearl. And you can see the size of it. I mean, look at the size of my hand compared to this Oregon device. It's actually quite heavy. These are faceted and polished malachite stones. Just these stones each were about $18 a piece. And you see here on the edges, and actually you can see the energy trying to burst out of each one. These are terminated crystal points on all four corners. Again, more garnet stones.
And then I put two of the Trees of Life. The And that's all in brass. And this is bronze, bronze peace sign with some blue gold stone. And again, and love insignias on all four sides, again, made of bronze with some bronze BBs, well, not even BBs because they're bigger sized, but metal balls. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's got, I also put some sparkles in it so when you move it, it glistens in the sun. So this is a special order. I'm not going to be posting this out until the person gets it because they want it to be a surprise. This is for their baby. Um, the stones in here are very powerful stones. I, I'll have to put um, a listing in the comments section of what the names of the stones are because I don't have them memorized offhand, unfortunately. But these stones, the, they're powerful protection stones, and also it has to do with uh, brain power. Um, their baby was born with problems, uh, some potential brain problems, and they wanted a pyramid that would be for that. So this is, and even to show just the large ones that I showed you guys, and see how well this fits in my hand, look at the size difference. And I'll hold this one in my hand, just so you can see. My hand disappears. This, this has got to weigh at least a good 25 pounds easily. So again, actual gold, silver, copper, layers all the way through. It's not just the edges. All the way through is stone. And that's the proper way to do an Oregon pyramid. And if you see the shape, it's the same shape as the pyramid in Giza. Same thing here. I mean, I've done pyramids with other shapes, and uh, they work just as fine. I've had clients tell me they feel the same energy in those as they do with these, but most people want that particular Gaza pyramid shape. And you see this one is a different shape. But again, that doesn't mean that they won't work. So, All right, uh, that's about it. So if you guys are interested in these, I'll post a link to my web store because I do sell these as well. Um, if you don't make them, I'd highly recommend that it's a fun thing to do, especially on a beautiful day. But um, study up on them. This was um, founded by Wilhelm Reich. He discovered the Oregon energy while he was doing experiments. And uh, just make sure you do it properly because there's many beautiful Oregon pyramids out there, but many of them are done incorrectly. And I mean, if you want a very beautiful paperweight, then, you know, it's artwork as well. This particular pyramid took me about five hours to make, and it took actually two whole days to dry. And people ask me one of the questions of what type of resin do you use? I actually use a um, clear polyester resin. It's uh, the type that they use to coat surfboard surfboards with. It's expensive, but like they say, you get what you pay for. Uh, once this dries, I mean, as you can hear, it's, it's amazing. And it easily falls out of the molds. I find with some of those cheaper casting resins, they tend to get stuck in the molds, and I've thrown out probably 10, 15 molds that way. So you not only ruin the pyramid and you lo lose whatever crystals and stones you use, but you also destroy your, your casting mold. And people also ask where I get my molds. I got them all on eBay. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this pyramid. Leave your comments, share, like, and uh, check out... Oh, little fuzzy thing. Check out my others by checking my web store. Thanks for watching, guys.